focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. Hello and welcome to Passion to Win, a four-part series celebrating the winners of the EVI Entrepreneur of the Year 2015 Awards. I'm Shireen Bhan. On today's episode, we profile our final four entrepreneurs who've contributed greatly to their industry and carved a niche for themselves. Our first entrepreneur duo are the siblings from Lupin, Vinita and Nilesh Gupta, who were instrumental in the transformation of the pharma company, aided by a recent volley of acquisitions in the global market. The company is today the fifth largest generics firm in the US and the third largest Indian pharma company by revenue. Let's take a look at the Lupin story. Growing up in an illustrious business family, Neeta and Nilesh Gupta were always inspired by their father, Dr. Desh Bandhu Gupta. Yeah, I feel like uh, I grew up in the business. In, um, um, since uh, I was a kid, um, I always saw DBG, you know, my father, building the company with uh, a lot of passion. So when I was uh, in school, I used to love arts. And, uh, uh, you know, when it came, came time to choose between arts and science and economics, um, you know, my father, mother both asked, why, why wouldn't you go into arts and, you know, maybe do architecture or... Uh, but I really wanted to prepare myself for this beautiful business that my father had started and uh, figured it make, made sense to uh, really get into science. Um, and then after that, studied pharmacy. After that, MBA. You know, really prepared myself to be able to um, add value to the business. So we're we're a very closely knit family. We're uh, we're five kids and mom and dad. So there's seven of us growing up. Uh, in a way, all of us were born into uh, into Lupin. Um, dad from very early days involved us in uh, in decision making. And it was funny because I have I have a two and a half year old daughter. But you know, three four years later. I don't, I don't know if I see myself sitting and talking to her about how my day at work went, what I did, but that's what dad used to do. Um, and so that was, you know, so Lupin got ingrained very early into the, uh, into the mind. After their graduation, they both decided to come back to India to help Lupin enter new markets. After my, my MBA, I worked for a very short while at Merck Shop and Dome um, in New Jersey, I mean, just for a summer, and realized very quickly that uh, I uh, was not cut out for that environment. I was very used to a very entrepreneurial environment uh, that uh, our father, you know, um, our chairman, had um, um, created, had established in Lupin, and uh, decided to uh, come back to Lupin. At that time, um, um, DBG was really thinking about the U.S. market. Um, the company was really focused on the um, Indian market, and he wanted uh, us to take the company global, with the U.S. being a key market um, uh, to go global. So um, he, he asked me to come back to India um, build the blueprint to take Lupin International into the U.S. market, into Europe, into other regions, and then execute it. And that's what I did. So um, it was interesting. So when, when I came back from the U.S. Uh, and I was debating whether I should come back to Lupin, should I stay in the U.S. at some point of time? Um, the U.S. was in a major recession at that point of time, so there was a real dearth of good opportunities. Um, at the same time, Vinita talked to me about coming back. Um, companies were just getting into the generics world at that point of time. Companies like Dr. Reddy's and, and Baxi were very successful. Um, so uh, um, she suggested, why don't I come back and set up a group to identify a generic pipeline. And it sounded like a good idea to me, so I came back. Uh, unlike my earlier stint, uh, this time I moved to Pune. So I actually... Uh, Stayed in Pune, came back to Bombay on the weekends, um, and I think that was the best thing I did. I, you know, um, uh, Lupin is uh, is a very uh, you know is, is a big meritocracy, um, and you have to earn your spurs before you will be respected and uh, before you can succeed in the company. 
Today, with a revenue of about 12,600 crore rupees, Lupin is a dominant force in the global generic market with multiple facilities across the world, including one in the US and two in Latin America and Japan. But both Vinita and Nilesh Gupta feel that this is only the beginning. So we have exciting times ahead of us. I mean, um, um, in the last uh, two years, uh, we have worked hard in uh, building new uh, uh, road drivers for the organization. So you, when you look at um, our, uh, um, our preparedness uh, to um, grow our business for the next, uh, next couple of years, for the next uh, two to three years, um, we, have ha we have added multiple new growth drivers to the organization. Um, I mean, we should be able to effectively uh, evolve our complex genetic business. We should be able to, uh, we have got into all of the major markets that uh, we wanted to be in. We're now going to focus on getting deep into the markets and, and, and build them. So I, th I think, uh, and there, there aren't any great answers on how you get the edge. Uh, I, I think one part is capability. Um, in the past, uh, we were able to acquire, now we need to build. Um, the other part is just execution. Um, and I think that to, to me in many ways is the, is the core of what we've been able to do so far. And I think that's what's going to take us into the future as well. Um, one part is to identify what you're doing and the other part is to carry it through. And we've uh, done a remarkable job of carrying it through in the past. And that's something we need to replicate in the future. Vinita and Nilesh Gupta were recipients of the Entrepreneur of the Year 2015 award. Congratulations. The winners, ladies and gentlemen, are Vinita Gupta and Nilesh Gupta of Lupin. Let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen. For the winners of the EY Entrepreneur of the Year award. Time for us to take a short break, but on the other side, the veteran of the Indian software industry, Dr. F. C. Kohli, talks to us about his various contributions both to the engineering and information technology industries. That's up in a bit.